Ed, whereabouts are your cricket batting shoes this morning? <laughs> They're lost. Someone stole them from the change room, and I'm, I'm actually, I think either Hussey, although he's claiming that he'd never interrupt anyone else's preparation. Lion, maybe practical joke, or you know, they're stuck somewhere in Siddle's bag and he hasn't quite worked it out yet. There's a bit of a campaign running to find the missing shoes. What, what kind of reward have you got up for, for offer? Yeah, I've, I've put one of those uh, missing person sort of signs up in the change room with my number at the bottom, a photo of Jelly, the, the ASIC's batting shoe. Uh, and the, there's a $50 iTunes voucher up to anyone for any information that leads to the safe return of, uh, of Jelly. Do they, these do Jelly have a real special place in your heart? Are they uh, beloved to the to the Cowan family? Yeah, they, they had a Test hundred in them, so you know they're, they're important shoes. Uh, more importantly, are my orthotics inside Jelly that uh, cost me an arm and a leg to, to get a hold of. So I, I just implore the public to, to get behind the the Get Jelly Back to Teddy campaign. Uh, is this a missing persons campaign, or are they purely just lost at the moment? Well, some people within the change room are suggesting, given my, my past history of, of losing things in the change room, that they could well be lost, they could be in my bag, but rest assured I've looked with my elbows a few times, um, and I, I can't find them anywhere, so I, I'm saying stolen, um, and or sabotage to, to some degree. Leading, leading candidates to be behind the, the uh, missing person? As I said, Hussey, Lyon, Siddle, no doubt in my mind. So also, the physio Alex Contouris has been known to, to pull stunts like this. So, you know, the, the owner's concerned about the welfare. Um, no ransom notice yet, so we, we just don't know what the case is at the moment.